it's been like a hot minute since we've done a video. A racing video. Yes, we're doing a racing video today. We are going to the Lone Star Kart Park. Brand new go-kart track uh, opened up at uh, Texas Motor Speedway right across the street. Hey, right across the street from my house because it's been, I don't know, a year or two years since I've done a racing video and so much has changed. Moved, changed jobs twice, thank God. Uh, published my book, Legacy Drive. Today's actually the one year anniversary of that, yay. But let's go have some fun, let's go race some carts, right? Yeah. Boys and girls, we are here at the cart park. Uh, it's really just in the parking lot, basically. They took a section of the parking lot, I believe it's turn four, I think? I could be wrong, but a section of the parking lot outside of gate seven at Texas Motor Speedway um, and turned it into a go-kart track. So I'm a little worried about it being bumpy and everything because, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know, we'll find out. I don't want to have any presumptions going into this. And since it's been such a long time since I've done anything on track, I'm really just wanting to have some fun. So let's go in there and get some track time and find out what's going on. Can the pedals go forward a little bit or is that so just... this lever right here? Okay, you pull gotcha. That back and then you're gonna push with the heels, try to push it back. Yeah, oh, okay, gotcha, go. awesome. Good? Good to go. Coming out of the final corner here, uh, you're pretty much flat all the way through here. It's a little bumpy. Make sure you clip your apex right here. Still flat, still flat. And then you can either drop the brakes right here just for a little straight line break, um, or just tip it in and scrub some speed through the corner. So you're flat here, take a wide entrance here, clip the apex, and then there's a double apex corner right here. I found later on that actually sacrificing the first apex and just making the second, uh, you can you get a little bit more speed coming out of here and you're flat all the way through this section but as soon as you make this corner here I found that just tapping the brakes a little bit and turn it in get back on the power early uh, was the best way so you're flat all through this section here all through the final corner the right side is very bumpy across the line to finish it and you just stay flat all the way until the first hairpin. Hey guys, so I recorded this at the track and it came out really bad for some reason. So now I'm at home and this is what you see. So I wanted to give you some thoughts on the track. Uh, I really enjoyed it. 
Um, it, it is pretty bumpy, and, and even the management that I talked to, they admitted that it's pretty bumpy, but they do have a plan in place to, uh, to, to pave it down the line and make it a lot smoother. But as this is its grand opening and everything got pushed back because of Big Rona, uh, they're just really wanting to get this place up and running before they start doing any more renovation. They do have some other plans down the line, including league racing as well. Uh, and possibly even tying in some league races with other tracks in the area like Dallas Karting Complex and everything and kind of make a little championship within a championship so to speak. So overall, uh, with the exception of the bumps, which you know they could be pretty jarring at times, the track is a lot of fun to drive. It, it's technical but not overly technical. It has a nice flow to it, lots of passing sections and everything. Uh, it's it's really just a fun track. It's not something you can take flat the entire time. You really got to pay attention. Overall, I'm excited about it. Uh, can't wait to, to see it develop over time. But overall, I'm very happy. I had a lot of fun today, if you can't tell. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content, please feel free to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it if it would help out the channel. And I look forward to putting more videos out. Hopefully more racing videos out. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. That's not too bad for being away from the track for, what, 15 months? Last This is May of 2020. Uh, the last time I was on the track was uh, February of 2019. So, aside from my racing, this is it. So. Yeah, that was fun. It was a lot of fun and it felt really good just to be back out on track again and, and passing people and whatnot. Uh, got a pretty good time for me being uh, a, a large individual. 